Good morning students. Welcome to the second session of the quadratic equations for class 10. Solution of the quadratic equations by factorization. The values of x for which the quadratic equation is satisfied are called the roots of the quadratic equation. Do you remember the zeros of the polynomial? We say the zeros of the polynomial but we always say the roots of the quadratic equation. If alpha is the root of the quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0, then a alpha square plus b alpha plus c is equal to 0. Note, the zeros of the quadratic polynomial ax square plus bx plus c are the roots of the quadratic equations ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So you know how to find out the zeros of the polynomial. Those zeros will be the roots of the given equation. Consider the quadratic equation 2x squared minus 5x plus 3. So again, let us try to solve this. We have what? We have 2x squared minus 5x plus 3. So what do I do? 2 into 3 is 6. 2 into 3 is 6. I have to factorize this 6 into so two parts so that their sum comes out to be minus 5. So what I do is I take this as minus 2x minus 3x plus 3 is equal to 0 because minus 2 into minus 3 is equal to plus 6 and minus 2 minus 3 comes out to be plus 5. So I can write it like this. I get what? I get 2x common. I get x minus 1. I take minus 3 common. I get x minus 1 is equal to 0 which simplifies to 2x minus 3 into x minus 1 is equal to 0. If the product of two terms is 0, that means one of them has to be 0. That means either 2x minus 3 is equal to 0, which gives me x is equal to 3 upon 2, or x minus 1 is equal to 0, which gives me x is equal to 1. Therefore, x is equal to 3 by 2, and 1 are the roots of the quadratic equation. Right, had you solved, what are the zeros of the polynomial 2x square minus 5x plus 3? The zeros would also have come out to be 3 by 2 and 1. We'll do it by the splitting of the middle term, I have told you. So, we get the values of x as 1 and 3 by 2 and this is called this factorization. Let us try to find out the roots of the quadratic equation 3x squared minus 2 root 6x plus 2 equal to 0. Again, we will do it by the splitting of the middle term. That means I need to first find out the product is how much. The product is coming out to be 3 into 2 which is equal to 6 and the sum is coming out to be minus 2 root 6. So we will split it up like this. Let us try to do it. We have 3x square minus root 6x minus root 6x plus 2 is equal to 0, which gives me, if I take from these two, I can take out common root 3, I can take out common, I can also take x and I'll be left with root 3x minus root 2, right? From here, I can take what common? I can take out root 2 common. And I am left with what? Root 3x minus root 2 once again is equal to 0. Which simplifies to root 3x minus root 2 into root 3x minus root 2 is equal to 0. That means root 3x minus root 2 is equal to 0. And the second factor is also the same. So we get only one factor. We x is equal to root 2 upon root 3. We will never leave the answer with an irrational denominator. So I rationalize it and I get what? I get I get it equal to what? I get it equal to root 6 upon 3 is the value of x. See it's been done for us. You can see it's just the, done the way we had done it. Exercise 4.2. I think you should not have any problem in doing this. We will take up whatever the problems are. Let us discuss question number 1, the fourth part and the question number 5. We will be taking up two questions. 
you have to factorize you to find out the zeros of 2x square minus x plus 1 upon 8 equal to 0 if i'll take the lcm what do i get i get it equal to 16x square minus 8x plus 1 equal to 0 this 8x will be i need what the product is how much the product is equal to product if you see here the product is equal to 16 and sum is equal to how much the sum is equal to minus 8 so i break this minus 8 into minus 4 minus 4 so that the product comes out to be 16 and the sum comes out to be minus 8 and i factorize it to get the value of x as 1 by 4 and 1 by 4 let us take up now the fifth question again the altitude of a right triangle is 7 cm less than its base. If the hypotenuse is 13 cm, find the other two sides. If the base is x, then the altitude comes out to be how much? 7 cm lesser. That means x minus 7 will be the altitude. If the altitude is x minus 7 and the base is x, the hypotenuse is how much it is given to us as 13. Which theorem can be applied? Yes, children, we'll apply the Pythagoras theorem and by Pythagoras theorem, we get the perpendicular square plus the base square is equal to hypotenuse square. So, x square plus x minus 7 whole square is equal to 13 square, which simplifies to x square minus 7x minus 60 is equal to 0. Now, I'll be breaking up this 60. If you see here, the product is how much? Product is equal to 60 and the sum is equal to how much? It is equal to 7. So, 60 equal, I will be breaking up. 60 means, I can, if you write the factors, it is 12 and 5. So, minus 12 plus 5 is equal to minus 7. So, we will factorize it using that. And we will be getting the value of x as minus 7 and 12. Now, x cannot be minus 7 because x is what? x is the breadth. So, the breadth is one side of the triangle is x. x cannot be minus 5. So, that means x is equal to 12. And accordingly, the altitude comes out to be 5. And hence, we have the three sides of the, pi the triangle as 5, 12 and 13. So, I think it's clear to you. For more clarity, you can watch the videos. The links have been shared with you. I hope there's no problem now. Thank you so much, children.